Breaking news. Two policemen killed as Oshomole escapes death in Benin City. The immediate past national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Adam Oshomole, on Monday narrowly escaped death by whiskers. It was gathered that a trailer ran into the convoy of the APC chieftain, destroyed his car, and killed two policemen who were part of his escort along the Benin bypass in Benin City, the state capital. Politics Nigerian report that this is coming 24 hours after Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State escaped on hot scene after his convoy was attacked by a group of armed robbers at Uria village. If and it, it was learned that security operatives rebelled the attacks who attempted to block his convoy near the Jehovah Witness International Headquarters allocated in Old Town. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Hmm. Now, first of all, I want to thank God that Oshimole did not die, as in he escaped the death. That is my happiness, because if Oshimole lost his life, sorry to say, easy Yamu will be hopeless. Now, this election comes September, will not hold. We never hold. Even if it's aired, then Ize Yamu will lose this election and God in Obaseki will be the governor and the winner of the election. Now, um, Oshomole will be blaming Obaseki for all this. My question is even if Oshomole is blaming Obaseki, did Obaseki drop the trailer that he should be blamed? It's just fits. Look at what happened recently to Obaseki. He was also attacked. Him and his convoy, they were attacked. And Obaseki never um, pointed fingers at Oshimole. Not at all. Why will Obas uh, Oshimole have it or think that Obaseki is the cause of this accident? Obaseki is not the cause. It's just fate. As I've said before, this incident was an attack from, from God, not from PDP. APC now will be raising the uh, pointing, accusing finger on PDP. They will call them useless people and useless party. Yes, but this is not. It's not it. It is a pity that the forthcoming election in the Doe state is already claiming lives. This is not what they bargain for in the states. Instead of endorsement, instead of the endorsement here and there, all men of goodwill in the Doe state and friends of Edo state should go on their news to pray to God to give them a free and fair election. And Oshomole should, to, should also go to God, go to God, kneel down and thank God for not allowing the devil to triumph over him. What if he died? Would he have, would, would he have uh, been blaming Obaseki? Would he have mouth or God to blame Obaseki? It, it cannot. So the, 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 the blame should not be on PDP or Obaseki. Nobody should blame anybody. All you need to do is to keep thanking God for his mercy. Because if you don't thank God, God will not save you from another accident. Not at all. Not at all. Sacrifice everywhere in Edo State. All in the name of this common governor election.
I pity those youth who behave like slaves to their masters. I'm not saying that they should not support anyone, but they should do that with sense. Even if they are supporting and the person eventually won the election, they should not turn to slaves to them. Because if they keep following them, they will turn them to, uh, they will call them beggars and turn them to slaves. So I thank God that Oshomole's life was not taken. Oshomole should keep praying that whosoever they want to attack him, that God should deal with that person, not blaming or confronting PDP or Baseki in any way. I wish that God could destroy uh, 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 those people that are uh, haters of good things. God will definitely destroy them one day and that will be very soon because they don't like each other. They don't like the evils. They wish other people's death and whosoever that wishes someone's death will be, will, will definitely die. Let me use Kemi Ululoyo as an example. Kemi Ululoyo said one thing. In, his state, in her statement, she said that over a dead body, that Biafra will, uh, will get its republic. Do you know what the gravity of that statement? Meaning that she won't be alive. She prefers to die than Biafra get, getting its independence. And if God truly called Nabi Kanu to lead Biafra's um, agitation, or should I say struggle, he will definitely succeed. And those that are wishing them dead, those that are, those that are haters of Biafra, that have never for once supported Biafra, will definitely be put to book. God will definitely deal with every one of them, one after the other. So that's an example. So whosoever that wishes Obasekis, I'm sorry, Oshomole's death will definitely die before Oshomole. I'm not supporting Oshomole, neither am I supporting Obaseki. Even if Obaseki was the one that uh, experienced this accident, then I would also pray the same way. So I'm not supporting anyone. So it's better nothing happen to Oshomole so that the election can go on smoothly and nobody will blame anybody for it. So viewers, what is your take on this news? What do you have to say? Consigning the allegation leveled against Obaseki being the cause of the accident that happened to Oshomole. Your comment concerning this news is very much important. Please don't hesitate to drop all your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish any new videos. And please don't forget to like and equally share this news with friends as well. Thank you. As you do, have a wonderful day. Bye.